but hi guys today I have all of the polishes that I wore in the month of October and I stayed very dark in October I really didn't deviate to lighter colors in October for some reason there are some but not very many most of these are dark nail polishes so anyways I'm gonna get started with this one right here which is OPI's how great is your Dane this is a really beautiful dark brown color but it's very cool tone it has a lot of gray in it which is what i love about it i wore this one on short nails and i thought it looked really great it looked dark but it still looks sophisticated um which to me makes it very appropriate to wear it in a corporate environment and for some reason you work in a corporate environment i think this is really beautiful uh, because of the gray it makes me feel like it would be a really great polish for a rainy day it's a cream finish polish. It was a two coater and I really loved it. On the nails, I feel like it does pull a little bit more gray than it does brown uh, though, but I actually really like that about it. So really beautiful polish. I really enjoyed that manicure. And then I moved on to Sonia Kashuk's Rich Girl. This one right here is a very like burnt red orange. The colors, the, the color of this polish is really pretty. It's really rich. It's very concentrated. And I really liked it. The formula was really great as well. I've purchased three polishes from her line. And two out of the three had really good formulas. Uh, this one right here is one of my favorite pinks now. I think I wore it last year or earlier this year uh, for the first time. And I just can't stay away for the, from this polish. This one is Sweet Cheeks and it's just <clears throat> really beautiful. My throat is so scratchy. I have really bad allergies right now and a massive headache. This weather is driving me crazy. <clears throat> Anyways, the point is, is that the formula is really good and this one is no different. I didn't wear this one on its own though. I did top it off with this one right here. And I want to say that I'd seen it on somebody's Instagram page and it reminded me that I had this polish. But now I can't remember what it was. If I do remember, I will link it down below. This is China Glaze Point Me to the Party. Which on its own, to me, it doesn't, you know, remind me of fall at all it's actually really colorful and really fun it has a uh, kind of medium-sized hexes it's a uh, green pink blue uh, fuchsia purple it's really pretty and then it has smaller multicolored glitters as well really adorable but combining them too it just it still made me think of fall but in a fun way more colorful way so i really like this too it was really cute and then, I don't know, these are not going to be in order, by the way, because I don't remember how I wore them. Not all of them. I don't remember how I, in what order I wore them in. And then I pulled uh, Carrie Blossom from OPI. This is part of the Washington, D.C. collection, which I did a review for. And in that video, I remember saying that I really like this polish. And I love it so much that I went on the hunt for it. I couldn't find it anywhere. I'm not going to lie to you. It wasn't very easy to find. And then I found this independent salon it's like a hair salon but then they also carry some polishes more opi more recent opi collections which was just a really nice find and they actually had the entire washington dc collection and i was really happy so i found this polish i did pay full price for it it kind of hurt a little bit but i love this color so much it's such a really pretty like berry purple color it's beautiful now the thing about this polish though is that it's, it can take two to three coats, anywhere between two to three coats. Well, I've applied it a couple times, and I find that it just depends on how heavy-handed I'm going. I can On some of my nails, I can do two coats easily, and then some of my nails, I have to go in with a third coat because there's a bald spot here and there. So it is a little bit more tricky, but to me, the color makes it so worth it. So cream finish and two to three coats, depending on your application. And then I have this one right here from L'Oreal. This one is called Hidden Gem. This one, no, Hidden Gems, sorry. This one was a gift to me. And when I got it, I didn't think, I thought it was just a, a glitter polish. I didn't know it was a, a texture polish until I applied it. Kind of threw me off a little bit. But I guess to me it just didn't look like a, a texture polish because I, I don't know I have this one from L'Oreal which I've owned for a couple of years now this one is sexy and sequins and to me this looks like it would be a texture polish but I think it's only because it has so many different colored glitters going on this one right here has a lot of it's more teal a lot of it is teal and then it has some scattered silver glitters uh, going on and I don't know if you guys can see it right there what I found interesting about this polish is that when you look at it straight on, it looks teal, but then on the side of the bottle, it ends up looking, it has this shift of purple, which, love, by the way, it looks really, really beautiful. 
unfortunately it doesn't transfer on the nails <laughs> i was so sad but it still looks really great if you like texture polishes i really like this one the color was really great so much so that I'm, I'm actually going to put it on my winter nail polish rack because I think this would be really great for winter just because of the cool coolness of it because it has the silver glitters. It just reminds me of winter to me. I don't know. Um, you can do one coat, one thick coat. I wouldn't recommend that though. I would go in maybe with two coats just because it is already a very thick polish to begin with. Um, so the dry time would just take an eternity. So really beautiful. And then let me move on to this one because I don't remember the order. This one right here is from OPI and this one is called First Class Desires. I hauled this one about a month ago, I want to say sometime in October. Really beautiful. It has a purple base and then it has these micro shimmers or micro glitters that look a little bit olive, a little bit bronzy, a little bit on the gold side which is stunning. It took two coats to get it fully opaque. The only thing about this polish is I feel like it dulls down quite a bit. So I put it on, put a top coat on, and by the next day it was already looking a little bit dull. I just feel like this polish kind of eats up the, the top coat, which is shocking to me because it's nothing like a texture polish, but these eat up the top goes like nothing like it's nobody's business so it's not even worth it to put something on but this one does just dulls up really easily so i did have to go in with a top coat every one or two days you know i didn't wear it for very long so i think i only applied top coat maybe once or twice if i'm not mistaken really pretty i just wish whatever was in the bottle would translate a little bit better on the nails but still really pretty and then I moved on to Kermit Me To Speak, which is from OPI. I have a lot of OPIs. I just realized that. Okay. Uh, so this is Kermit Me To Speak, which is a beautiful, like, green and pink duo. Oh, it's... I Every time I pull this nail polish, I am not disappointed. This is, like, a little treasure for me. I love... I love this nail polish. It looks so great. And to me... Because it's a duo, I just feel like it translates a lot better when it's live and be in movement. You know what I mean? I'm going to try to wear it one of these days when I'm recording a video so you guys can see it. I do have another video where I have it on my nails, but it was like from earlier this year. Um, really, anyways, it's really, really pretty. It is a, It has a very, very thin formula, like super thin formula. Uh, but because of that, it dries instantly. I mean, it does not take very long to dry. Three to four coats but again very thin coats very fast drying so it's just a really beautiful polish if you can get a hold of it i do recommend it i just love the duo of this one it's really really beautiful i i tried going again to my nail supply store and i could not find it they had it for the longest time and they had backups of it and then i went back again like a month ago or so and they didn't have it anymore so i'm kind of sad about it but anyways that's that one and then i have this one right here which is every month is oktoberfest i mentioned this one in, in a friend unboxing nail polish unboxing video which i was so giddy because i was so excited and then i saw this polish and i was just like i lost it i completely lost it i'm so excited it is everything and more it's like rainbows and butterflies and it's like a shine, sunshiny day on a gloom you know what i mean like it's just it's just so pretty. Everything that people say about it is definitely true. It's very, it's like burgundy but bronzy but brown at the same time. And it's just so much goodness going on in this in this bottle. I love it. I loved it so much. I actually wore it twice back to back because I was just so impressed with it. Great formula. Two coats. Actually, a couple of people. Brie was one of them, which um, she, she gave me this polish. And then somebody else commented... Um, on my Instagram or on a YouTube video, I can't remember, but they said that they actually found them at a Kmart, so if you have a Kmart nearby, try to check it out. My Kmart is just, you know, they don't have anything, so anyways, um, I do recommend that you guys get a hold of it if you can, and then I uh, pulled pepper from Zoya, not pulled, I bought pepper from Zoya, I actually bought it last month because I seen Zenora uh, mention it in her fall nail polish picks which I will link down below for you and her and I are very similar in skin tones so I think she's just a little bit lighter than me but it looked so great on her nails I went out to get it right away because oh, it's just beautiful it's like a burnt red brown nail polish it's cream it's a two-coater the formula was so 
like beautiful i loved this nail polish i love the color it's just so like if that does not scream fall i don't know what does to be honest with you so really beautiful i really liked it and then i wore a lincoln park after dark but this one i wore on my toes the entire month the entire month. I love this nail polish. It's so beautiful. Cream finish, two coater. It's a very deep, like purple, plummy color. It looks black on the nails, but in some lights you can see a little bit of the purple in it, which is what I, I, I like about it. So impeccable formula. I just really enjoy it. And then I have Zoya's Merida. So Zoya's Merida, I, I actually hauled, I think, a couple weeks ago, two to three weeks ago or so. The, the reason for that haul was this nail polish. That is the whole reason why I actually placed an online order because I, you know, was no, nowhere else to be found but online. And I am not disappointed. It's so pretty. It's a really beautiful, it's a Christmassy green though. I just want to say that really quickly. Scattered holographic. So I posted a picture on my Instagram and somebody said something about it's a really pretty like that would be really pretty for Christmas and it just clicked it is very pretty for Christmas it's it's beautiful don't get me wrong but I was I think I was expecting something else but when I put it on it was really beautiful and I could honestly I couldn't stop staring at my nails because it was gorgeous but just the green in this doesn't I mean I don't mind wearing it during this time of the year I'm rambling now but because I'm not trying to say that it's not a beautiful polish because it is a beautiful polish I would just wear it more in the Christmas time personally for me this kind of green I prefer something a little bit deeper more hunter or more like a mossy kind of green like something like this um, or like this butter London's wall or something like this for October and November this is something that I would gravitate more towards like December this is December months anyways Christmas months is what I'm talking about so beautiful two coater and I completely just I loved it and then I have China glaze would you wanna this is it has like a burgundy base it seems to have a burgundy base and these muted kind of uh, silver coppery Glitter is going on. Either way, it's really, really beautiful. It looks almost like a gunmetal uh, color on the nails. Amazing formula. Two coats. It was just beautiful. I love this. This is great. I love this not only for this time of year, but for winter as well. I think it would be really, really great. So, I highly recommend it. And then I also have these two right here. I don't know if these are the last ones that I wore. I'm not I'm not actually 100%. But anyways, this one right here is from China Glaze. And this one is called Cast a Spell, which has this blackened green base. And then it has um, more like golden and green shimmers going on. Beautiful. This can be a one coater. I always put two coats, though, with any nail polish. Um, that's just me. But it can definitely be a one coater amazing formula amazing color it's just this time of year is this, this is the perfect i actually wore this on october 31st because i was just so dark and so just the color was really great but then on my accent nail my ring finger i wore this one right here which is bat my eyes i think yeah bat my eyes and this one also has a blackened base but this one has more gold kind of olive green it has some hollows going on which is amazing which made it such a great pair because although they're very similar in color because it has so much going on in this nail polish it did stand out against my nails and I really really liked it so these two I loved I mean on their own they're really great but combined together I really liked it a lot as well and this one right here I did only do one coat over top of this one on my ring finger because this is a very thick nail polish um, it's very densely packed with glitters, so you don't need very much of it because the long, the more you apply, the longer it's going to take to dry. Um, so that is everything for this month, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one.